So we've just completed the profile worksheet. And now you're probably asking, okay, I've gotten all this information about myself. Where do I find the scholarships? So part two, step two, is where we're going to start finding these scholarships that are going to be specifically tailored towards you. So the first place I tell everyone to go to is your school. Go and utilize your school's resources. And by this I mean go to your high school's guidance office first. They're going to have the majority of scholarships available for you in one place. So you don't have to go and scramble and look in a whole bunch of different areas, getting worn out, tired, and discouraged. You'll have a lot of scholarships in that one area that you can sort through. Pick out the ones that will apply to you and apply to those. Do it in that order. Don't just go and find a lot of different places getting all the scholarships that you can. You just want to get some scholarships from one area, apply to those scholarships, and then after you finish applying, filling out the scholarship application and sending it off, then go to another place to find more applications, scholarship applications, fill those out, and then continue and repeat the process over and over again. So the first place I tell everyone to go to is the high school's guidance office. They're going to have these local scholarships that not many people are going to be applying to because it's only going to be offered for your area. You can also check out the school library or your school's career center. They'll also have scholarships there for you. If you're in college or if you're about to enroll in college, you can also look at the college's financial aid department, their library, or their career center. These places are also going to have scholarships for you. And if you're in high school still, you can do this to the schools that you're applying to before you even get in. That way you'll already have a head start on the scholarships, more scholarships that will be suited for you. You're going to ask all of these places, the counselors that are there, the librarians, anyone who's part of the career center, ask them if they know of any scholarships that you can apply for. And then, after you've tried some of these places, you can also go to individual departments that you're majoring in and ask if they know of any scholarship opportunities. And this goes back to the profile worksheet. See how this all ties in? Since you wrote down a couple majors that you're interested in, if you go to that school that you're interested in and you go to their individual department, say if you want to major in arts, you'll go to the art department and you'll ask the head of the art department or you're asked the chair of the art department if they know of any scholarships that are for students interested in art and they will know. So after you have exhausted all scholarship opportunities at your school, you can use other schools resources that are in the area. Go to other schools that are close by. Ask their guidance counselors, ask their financial aid officers for any of their scholarship resources. These schools might have different scholarships than what your school has that you can still qualify for. Of course, some of the scholarships might overlap. They might have some of the same scholarships, but then at one school they might have a few different ones that you might be a perfect candidate for. So now, I guess you can say you've exhausted all of the options at another, your schools and at another school. What do you do next? you want to utilize the community resources. So remember those local community groups that you might be a member of, your parents might be a member of, on your profile worksheet, yep, we're going back to it again. You want to seek out those local community groups that you listed and ask about their scholarship opportunities. So remember we talked about the 4-H club, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, the YMCA. You can ask these places and ask the local chapters first. What happens with community resources, what happens with community groups and the different chapters, they'll usually have a local chapter and they also have a national chapter. So the local chapters will have their own scholarships and sometimes the nationals will as well. But when you search for the local chapter scholarships first, just the ones that are in your local area, it'll be less competition because there'll be less people competing. Since only people since the scholarships are only open for the people that are in your local area to apply to, that's going to give you a small pool of people that will know about the scholarship versus when you go and you search for those national scholarships where, of course, the prizes might be bigger. You might get a $20,000 prize, but you're competing against tens of thousands of people 
that's a lot of competition out there. Some other community resources you can use are local businesses. So you can go to banks, maybe if you're a member of the credit union that we listed on the profile worksheet, or even your bank, you can ask them if they have any scholarships. Any radio or TV stations, local radio, local TV stations for your area. If you live in a certain county, you can look at the TV stations for that county and see if they have scholarships. You can ask the department stores, maybe if there are certain boutiques, they might have scholarships. Credit unions, any nonprofit organizations that are in your area might have scholarships, or if they don't have any scholarships, they might think about opening up a scholarship just for you because you've asked. So you never know. You can find scholarships in all of these areas. Then after you've utilized all of those options, or if you don't even want to use some of those options, you can also try state and government scholarships. Once again, I'm just going through all different places where you can find scholarships that will be specific towards you. So you can receive these, usually these state or government scholarships if you want to go to an in-state college, meaning if you want to go to a college that's in your state of residence, then you can apply to these college, these state scholarships and government scholarships. Now, I received a couple state and government scholarships by calling the Department of Higher Education for my specific state, which is Maryland. And I got their number using Google. And I just asked the person who answered the phone if they had any scholarship opportunities. And she took down my name and my mailing address. And she sent me an application in the mail, which I filled out, mailed back, and I actually ended up receiving that scholarship. I didn't really think about applying to the scholarship until my last two years of college, but I certainly received it those last two years. Step six, you want to go and search for scholarships at your employer, if you had any employers that you listed on that profile worksheet, or if you have any of your parents' employers that you listed on that profile worksheet. Contact them. Companies that you or your parents work for may offer scholarship opportunities. So you want to contact those employers to inquire about the scholarship programs they might have. Some companies even have tuition reimbursement programs, meaning if you work for them while you're in attending school, they will pay for some or all of your school costs. So these are definitely some great places that you want to look when you're searching for scholarships. They'll have a good amount of scholarships that will fit your needs and they'll also be these low competition scholarships, meaning not that many are applying to these scholarships because they're only available and they're only going to give people the award if they're in your local area. And last, last place I like to look is the internet or scholarship search databases. And the reason being is because it can be so overwhelming. When you go through fastwebscholarships.com, anything like that, they had you fill out that long profile sheet, which you see I've We've already filled out a profile worksheet, but just filling that out, it usually takes 20 to 30 minutes. By that time, I was completely exhausted. So this is really, after you've exhausted all of those other scholarship places, you can go here last. And at your school's li library, they might have a scholarship search database that you can use. They might be subscribed to a database, but the one thing about those is if it's not something that's kind of online, sometimes it can be outdated. That's the same that goes with some of those scholarship books. Yes, they're great to look at. It's a lot. It can be really overwhelming. That's why I say it's the last resort. And sometimes they can be really outdated. So if you're flipping through the book and then you see a link, you go to the link, sometimes the link's not even there anymore. Sometimes the page is no longer up. Sometimes they don't even offer the scholarship anymore. That's why I say this is the completely last resort. But they can be a good place for you to look at if you want to see prior scholarships that people have won or have had because that can give you a good basis. They might offer it again this year. So if you want to look there as a last resort after you've already gone through everything, then that's fine. You utilize the school's library to search for scholarships and the internet. Even though I don't I'm not a big advocate of using fastwebscholarships.com you can always use it. I'm not saying don't use it at all. I'm just saying that that wasn't the easiest place that I found and won scholarships from. But when you do use the internet, a 
good place that I found was using Google. You can Google specific scholarships. And what I would do is Google the keywords that I filled out from my profile worksheet that we did in the first part. It keeps coming back up because you see it's a very important part. So if you haven't filled it out by now, go back and fill that worksheet out so that we know exactly where we're going to pinpoint scholarships that are specific for you. And what I would do in these school, Google searches for scholarships is I would say, say I took the disability part and I said, or I took a medical conditions part of the profile worksheet and say my medical condition is asthma. So I said I would Google the keyword asthma scholarships. But I also want to take it a step further because I don't want to just search for all the whole nationwide asthma scholarships that are available. I want to search for them in my sp particular area so that these are the low competition scholarships. So I would put scholarships for people with asthma in and then I would include my area. And you can do the same. You can put Google the keyword scholarships for people with, and you can enter in maybe you can maybe if you're deaf or maybe if you're blind. Scholarships for blind people, scholarships for people with hearing impairments, scholarships for people with hearing disabilities in, and then you can put your city or and state. Now for me it would be Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I'm not asthmatic, but I was on the National English Honor Society. So I would say scholarships for people in the National English Honor Society in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, or in Maryland. You don't have to do it so specific. If nothing comes up, then you can always go to a broader region. You can put your county in. So say I lived in Prince George's County. I would put in Prince George's County. Scholarships for swimmers in Montgomery County. You can use all those keywords that we've come up with in your profile worksheet to look for scholarships. You can even use some of the, your employees information. Scholarships for people at this per particular bank, like if Bank of America. Bank of America scholarships for college. And then you can even go down another notch and say scholarships Bank of America scholarships for college in your state, Kansas, or Texas, or anything like that. So as always, take action. You must, must, must take action in order for you to get these results. So go out and find those scholarship applications. Start looking at your school. Start looking at other schools that are around you, your community, local resources. And as a last resort, use the internet and databases. Up next, we're going to be working on the scholarship essay. So look out for that. See you soon.